Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can change the way pivot tables are summarized in Excel 2007. Here is a data set and here is a request from my boss, the Vice President. Danny, please give me a report showing total revenue by month, by branch, and by source. Now there's a second request. We'll come back to that later in the lesson. All right, so we want to first be able to transform a list of daily transactions into a grouping by month. So the best way to do this is going to be to use a pivot table. Once we've grouped it by month, then we'll organize the subtotals by branch and by source. All right, one cell is selected in our data set. Come up here to Insert and choose Pivot Table. We want to create a pivot table on a new worksheet. So let's click OK. And now first order of business is to change the dates from daily transactions into groupings by month. Really easy to do. Select just one cell and then on the pivot table tools options come over here into group and we want to group the field, not the selection, group the field. And we want to group it by month, but as a best practice when I'm grouping by month, I always group by month and by year. Even though our list only covers one year, inevitably the list will grow. So starting it off on the best foot by grouping by month and by year is a good best practice. Now there is our grouping by month. Remember that our vice president wanted to also see by branch and by source. So I like adding in the fields before I actually put in the values. Now, several things, of course, that we can do. Number one, let's remove anything that we don't need. So he didn't need to see it by year. And also, let's change the original field was called date because it was daily transaction. So let's change this name to month. Let's use the down arrow, come to field settings, and let's change the name to month. All right, click OK. Now, what we want to do is determine how we want to see the information. Do we want to see the branches in the row, or would we prefer to see the branches coming across the columns? Or would we like to see perhaps the source going across the columns? So however you wish to see the information, as a best practice, I recommend having the orientation set up first. And now it's time to add in the summary. Let's add in the total amount. So when we click here, it gets added in to the sum of values. So now we have our request. Of course, we'll go through and we'll uh, clean up a few things. We'll change the formatting of the numbers over here. But we have by month by branch and by source. So let's come over here and change the formatting of the numbers. Come down here once again to value field settings and what we want to do is select number format. Let's use accounting with the dollar sign but with zero decimal places. All right, so we take this in to the manager and of course inevitably they want to change something around. Vice presidents are noted for that. So if the manager or the vice president prefers to see the source before the branch, we can do that. Or move the branch over here. It's really simple to do. All right, now let's come back and take a look at the second request. So the second request was, oh, by the way, in a separate report, I want to see percentage of revenue alongside total revenue by branch and by month. All right, let's come back to the pivot table. So in this case, he doesn't want to see the source, so let's remove that. Now, you're familiar with the different functions that we can use, the different summaries that we can use. If we come over here into value field settings, you'll notice that you can summarize by sum, count, average, max, minimum. But I don't see anything about percentage of revenue. Well, it is available. It's available over here in the show values as. Now before we do that, remember our manager wanted to see both total revenue and also wanted to see side-by-side -side percentage of the whole. 
So I think this is going to make more sense if we, number one, move our branch down here. And what we're going to do in a pivot table, not only do you not have to show all of your fields from your source, but you can show a field twice. So let's move this down twice. What we're going to do is we have our total revenue over here, and this we're going to change in to percentage of the whole. In this case, it'll be percentage of the column. Here's how we do it. We'll come over here, come back to value field settings, and we come over here into the show values as. So in addition to summarizing by, we can also show values as. And how do we want to show the values? I have found that this is the gotcha step here. There's a drop down over here. So the best way to show the percentage of the total will be to show it as a percentage of the column. Click OK, and there you go. Here's our total revenue, here's our percentage of the column, so it adds up to 100%. Now let's change these titles. So let's come over here on the first one, Value Field Settings, and let's turn this into Total Revenue. And let's change the second one, so this will be Percentage of the Total. So Value Field Settings will change it to, I'll call it PCT of All right, and do I want to change the number format? It's automatically turned into a percentage, but let's just make it one decimal place. Click OK, click OK, and there we have it. If we wish to collapse, we can easily collapse any one of our values. Just right mouse click, expand and collapse, choose to collapse the entire field. So now we have a summary. If we want to see the detail for any quarter, or if we want to expand every one of the values in the field, we can do it. So there, I've shown you how easy it is to change the way that Excel 2007 summarizes your data in a pivot table. And I'll see you in the next lesson.